Hello everyone! Welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial. In this tutorial, I will take you through step by step how you can perfectly retouch your photos using the frequency separation method in Photoshop. First thing we are doing is removing the blemish or pimples from the skin. To do that, press Ctrl J on your keyboard to duplicate the layer. I am going to rename the layer blemish. Then go to Toolbar and select the Spot Healing Brush tool. Press Ctrl plus to zoom in. Then left click on the unwanted spot that you want to get rid of. You can increase or reduce the brush size by pressing the Open and Close Bracket key. Next step is frequency separation and skin smoothing. To do that, press Ctrl J twice to duplicate the layer. I am going to rename the first layer high frequency and the second layer low frequency. Make the high frequency layer invisible. Go to filter at the menu bar and select blur. Then click Gaussian blur. Set the radius to nine pixels and click OK. Make the high frequency layer visible back. Select the layer. Go to image at the menu bar, then select apply image. Select the low frequency layer. Change the blending to subtract. Set the scale to 2% and offset 128%. Then click OK. Change the blending mood to linear light. Select the low frequency layer. Go to toolbar and select mixer brush tool. Leave the settings the way mine is. Zoom in. Then brush over the skin with the mixer brush tool to smooth the skin. Make sure you are following the process.
Select the high frequency layer. Press and hold the shift key then click the blemish layer to select the three layers. Press Ctrl G to group the layers. You can see the before and after. Next step is to add skin tone. Open the group layer. Select the high frequency layer. Go to adjustment layer and select gradient map. Make the gradient map layer invisible. Click on the color to open gradient editor. Click on the left point to select the color. Click on the color to change it. Here we have the color number. All you need to do is to type the color number which is 2F1B11, then click OK. Click on the middle to create another point. Change the location number to 50% to make sure it is on the middle. Open the color and also type the color number which is 975C3C. Repeat the same process on the right side. The color number is BF876A. Click OK. Once you are done setting up the color, make the layer visible back, then change the blending mood to color. Where we want the skin tone is only on the skin. We want to remove it from other parts of the image. To do that, select the white box on the layer. Go to Toolbar and select Brush Tool. Set the opacity to 100% and Flow to 100%. Set the foreground color to 100% black. Zoom in. Then brush over the parts where you don't want the skin color. Make sure you are following the process. Select the Move tool. You can see the before and after. Next step is color grading. Select the gradient map layer. Press Ctrl Shift Alt E to merge all the layers. Right click on the layer and select Convert to Smart Object. Go to Filter at the menu bar and select Camera Raw Filter. Here you can see the different settings. First we are working on is the light. Just follow through the same settings that I am using. You can still set it to your own choice. Just make sure you are following through the way I am doing it.
Once you are satisfied with it, click OK. You can see the before and after. Let us whiten the eyes and also work on the lips. Create a new layer on top. Open the foreground color and change the color to red. Select the brush tool. Zoom in. Brush over the lips with the brush tool. Change the blending mood to color. Double click on the layer to open layer style. Hold Alt key then click on the left point then drag it to the right side. Repeat the same thing. Create another layer. Open the foreground color and change it to 100% white. Select the brush tool. Change the blending mood to color. Zoom in. Then brush the eyes with the brush tool. You can see the before and after. That is how you retouch a photo from start to finish in Photoshop. If you like this tutorial, kindly subscribe to this channel for more tutorials like this. Don't forget to like and share this video, and if you have any question, leave it on the comment section.